everyone, Hungry Reader here. Time for more By Kids for Kids. <laughs> Being the Hungry Reader, I deal in the written word. And that doesn't just mean uh, children's books, even though that is my major focus. It also means pretty much any place you can get your reading material from adult books to instruction booklets, oh, comic books. But this is the first time that I've done a poster, and you'll see why. I mentioned before in a previous video that my mother was a teacher. That's one of the ways you become the hungry reader is by having a teacher for a mom. She's retired now, but for 22 years, she would drive 60 miles each way there and back to a very small town in California where she was a seventh grade English teacher. One thing that did not change between 1991 and 2013 is that most of a teacher's work is unpaid, and that meant you had to get your family to help. I spent a lot of my childhood and a good portion of my adulthood coming with her every year, usually at the beginning and ending of summer, to help her move furniture, clean stuff out, and look at what was going on in the school. That's where I saw this poster. One year, my close personal friend, the cartoonist Steph Cherrywell, came to help. Steph was the one who noticed this truly remarkable poster that was plastered to the library window that both of us just stared at in utter awe. The poster stayed up for several years, but when they came down, my mother made sure to get it for me. Much like Henry the Apple, I'm going to leave it up to the author to claim credit for this poster, because it's written right there, but I'm going to blur it out. So please come forward and let everyone know if you want to take credit for the tale of Jason Argonaut. Once upon a time, there was a boy by the name of Jason Argonaut. He was unpopular and wanted attention. He was introduced to drugs by an unknown man. The man told him that the drugs would make him popular. Jason took the drugs and tried them. They were nasty, but Jason got used to them. Soon, Jason got bad grades and stunk a lot. He was teased and left alone. He grew up lazy and stupid. He was never married and had no friends. He died young and was buried in a ditch. The moral of this story, don't do drugs. The major DDD. R.I.Q. Jason. He never lived. To start with, I don't do drugs. I never have. I've never even smoked a cigarette. And yet, I still recognize that most of the anti-drug propaganda is absolute garbage. But, this poster manages to hit it beat for beat for beat. In the magical world of anti-drug public service announcements, drugs are reputed to be an instant popularity booster that will be offered to you by strangers rather than friends. Also, Jason is a geeky kid with acne, a massive weight problem. Look at how lovingly those man boobs are rendered on the second panel. And even his glasses are taped together. It makes me curious how old Jason is that the drug dealer is twice his height. Now let's compare the initial picture of Jason failing to catch a basketball to Jason post-drugs. Damn! <laughs> One, he's even fatter than before, but two, he seems to have lost his glasses. That makes me wonder if he was like, well, now I'm cool, time to take off my glasses and show everyone what's what at the prom. Another problem here is that Jason on drugs looks pretty happy compared to any other p picture of him. And then there's this bonus omake of this could have been Jason. Yeah, if instead of taking drugs, he lost 75 pounds and grew his hair out. Something else from the magic land of drug PSAs. They were nasty, but Jason got used to them. Yeah, there's certainly no reason why you'd take drugs. They certainly don't, you know, have a physical reaction that makes you somehow feel good in any way, and why would anyone do that? He was teased and left alone. Well, which was it? Did they tease him or did they leave him alone? He died young and was buried in a ditch. So who gave him that ragged tombstone then? And then we have three anti-drug slogans. Don't do drugs, the major DDD. When you smoke, you choke. And shade out drugs. 
Okay, I get shading out drugs, but why the inexplicable Groucho nose? And the drugs being shaded out are a mint leaf, a blunt, and a condom? I have no idea if witnessing this poster ever made anyone think twice about doing drugs, just if only just because they didn't want to end up like, ah, <laughs> yeah, I'm cool. <laughs> As I said, I don't do drugs, but that was a very personal decision on my part. And it's not necessarily something I would recommend for everyone because, you know, I don't do them legal or illegal. So if you're going to drink or smoke marijuana, if it's legal where you are, or I don't know, if you're in Amsterdam, hashish or something like that, I say don't do drugs alone. Always make sure that it's part of a bonding ritual or something. It's something you're doing with friends. Because for one thing, it seems to be something that gets people pretty tight knit. And for another, you really want to have somebody nearby who can call the ambulance if something goes really wrong.